When Dad gets home, he normally ends up in front of that computer. So I wanted to make sure that he gave his children full focus and I sent them all to the park. They want to climb on the monkey bars. They want to swing on the swings. They want to do what they want to do here. Let them get it out of the system. Shemi and Shelby climb on absolutely everything because they need an outlet for their physical energy. So this is their playground, not the home. And you can always say to her, I saw you on that. That was fantastic. You balanced really well. Shelby! I saw you do that, baby. Good girl. <laughs> Shermy, Shelby, can you come with me? Because we're going to go over to that big hill over there. The kids were having great fun in the park, and Dad was looking on at them. So I gave him a nudge and said, go and have fun with him as well. Shelby, should we get Daddy to roll down the hill? Daddy, roll down the hill. Should we get Daddy to roll down the hill? Roll down the hill. Roll, 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 roll. I think Joe was trying to get me to be a little more active with the kids. I can do what they can do. Oh. You know, I can get out there and play with them like the best of them. Come on, baby. And we put Daddy down the hill. And he saw that they enjoyed it, so I'm hoping that it will encourage him to just be himself, do what he wants, because that's what matters at the end of the day. It was very fun. I mean, like I said, I did some things I haven't done in years. <laughs> OK, so between four and five, we've got the switch off. There isn't any time to communicate about your day. So we have this. OK. It's a very simple idea. Before Dad leaves, he reports about the day. He lets her know exactly what's gone on. And then he leaves it with Mum in the car to listen on the way back. Hi, honey, it's me. Just wanted to let you know we had a great day today. Breakfast went good. Went to the park. That was great. Uh, Shelby did take a nap. Shermie ate his snack. And Shelby did not eat her snack because I woke her up and we're on our way out the door. I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Bye-bye. I think it's very important for Joel to know if they've had any privileges taken away, if they ate everything, you know, at their snack times, so she can go by that. How are you? Good. Hi. Hi. Oh, what's this? Communication device. Oh, it just lets me know what you did for the day? How cool. <laughs> I was a little surprised when he handed me a tape recorder. And he told me that uh, he kind of recorded what him and the children did during the day, and it was for me to listen to on the way home. And we're at the park today. I got to roll down the hill <laughs> about six times. But that was fun. I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Bye-bye. Daddy went down a hill today at the park. Did you have fun at that park? Yeah, you turn did? it on again. Yeah. OK. <laughs> it's pretty useful, actually, being so rushed. I am able to get a lot of information from Sherman on that tape. When the young family sit down to have dinner, they're all really quiet. So I'm giving them an opportunity to come together to open up conversation with a talking stick. What is it? That's something very special at dinner time. Is it magic? Sort of. Shelby, you want to help Mommy set the table? Children were so excited with the talking stick, Shelby left her little table to come up to the main table. Shelby's going to sit with us tonight. I was really surprised Shelby sat at that dinner table and didn't even want to go sit at her little table. That was great. That is the talking stick. OK. Talking. And every night, I'm going to give that to somebody, and they are going to think of a topic they would like to talk about. Dylan, I'm going to give it to you tonight. What did he do? Well, you might be tomorrow night, OK? Me too. Yeah. Whatever he wants to talk about tonight, we're going to talk about, OK? School. What, what happened at school today, then, Dylan? We watched, like, a movie in science and stuff. About? Like that. Paramecium. And stuff. What know, is that? It's like these little cell things. And they, like, swim around in pond water. And what a change from the last meal time. Everybody was talking and listening and they enjoying the conversation. Dinner um, with all five of us sitting at the table is really nice, with no TV on. Just us talking is, is really good. It's great. When I was speaking to Dylan, he was saying how he would love to be able to spend more time with the pair of you. And because of the circumstances, it hasn't allowed him to do that. Before I leave, I think it's really important that Joelle and Sherman recognize that Dylan needs their time too. Because he can't be looking after Shermy and Shelby all the time, so I'm going to set them a homework assignment. I'm going to do something fun, all right? I thought it might be quite a funny idea to just write an invitation down to him, like Mum and Dad invite you to bowling, for instance. 
you know, for okay. the evening. You know, All just right. something quirky, but he may find okay. that amusing. Okay. So. That'd be fun. Jamie, come and see me at the door and say goodbye to me. Shall we? Come on. Come and give me a big hug. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that while Jones is gone, I think we will be able to pull it off. Dylan, I'll see you in a couple of days. See you soon. Joel? Bye. See you soon. Oh, All right. Yeah. Work together, keep strong. Okay. You know, you've got to be doing the naughty corner, okay. lots of praise. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And remember, no confrontation. Okay. Right? Okay. Follow through, be consistent. Okay. Yeah. See you soon. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Those younger children are going to test German and Joel, but I hope that they really do stick to the techniques and take a little time out for Dylan, too. Coming up on Super Nanny, Dylan puts the brakes on Sherman. I suggest you stop it. While Shelby's bad behavior goes full speed ahead. <gasps> you do not hit me in the face with a doll. When Super Nanny returns. But first, a tip from Super Nanny. When you have children with a large age difference, it's all too easy to make your eldest a babysitter. But do remember, your teenagers need your quality time away from the little ones, as well as space on their own too.